What's up everybody, Tiankum here with Soya Quilting. Today I'm gonna to show you how you make this awesome half squared rectangle block. Let's get started. First things first, let's dive on into the cutting instructions for this. As you can see in front of me, I've already gone ahead and pre-cut most of my fabrics. These two right here are inch and three quarter by width of fabric strips. Right here we got five by five, two and a half by width of fabric, and both of these are four by six inch rectangles. The first thing that we need to do is we're gonna take one of our rectangles and we need to mark a line corner to corner just like you would a half square triangle. And we're gonna lay this down just like so and we're gonna mark corner to corner. Something to be very, very mindful of is whatever corner to corner that you mark, you have to do that on all of your blocks. If not, you'll get wonky and opposite ends and mirrored images and things like that. So you just wanna make sure if I'm gonna start on my bottom left corner, you have to go from bottom left to top right on every single block. So let me mark this. So I just put a line all the way down and I'm gonna do the same thing on my other one. Lay this down like so. Again, I start on the bottom left, so I have to do it all the way through. Just like that. So once we have all of our blocks marked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay them just like a half square triangle. We're gonna lay them right sides together. And what we think to do is just to sew, put them right like this and sew all the way down just like we would do a normal half square triangle. If we do that, it won't actually be a square block. It will actually open up funky. So what you have to do is you kind of have to put it cockeyed a little bit, just like this. So that when we cut this, it will open up pr properly. So I'm gonna take this over to our sewing machine, put down my quarter inch foot here and we're gonna just sew on each side of the line. And I'm gonna repeat this step on my other block. Now that I have both of my pieces sewn, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut right on the line. So I'm gonna take out my ruler here, lay this down, and cut. Now you'll see once I open this up, it turns into a rectangle on both sides. So I'm going to repeat this step on my other blocks here, and we're going to do the exact same thing. And again, we have our half square rectangles. I'm going to open these up, and then I'm going to show you how you trim them down and make sure that they're square. Now I have these pieces ironed open, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these, lay it down, and I'm going to move these other pieces out of the way, that way we have a clear shot. We're going to take this guy, or this half square rectangle, and on all of our square rulers, we have a 60 degree line. What you're going to do is lay down your ruler and line up your seam of your block with your 60 degree line. And on your very first cut, you just wanna make sure everything is square. So it looks a little funky because it looks like we're cutting it wrong, but this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. On your top point, there's not supposed to be very much fabric, and on your bottom, there's supposed to be more like a quarter of an inch, or maybe even a little bit more. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this, and this is where a Lazy Susan really comes in handy, so we're not in a weird angle. Now that we have this side of it square, all we're going to do is we're gonna turn our ruler upside down, and we're gonna cut now our block to size, which is three by five. So I'm going to take this like so. I've got my three inch here, and I've got my five inch there. So I'm going to just cut both sides here, which now we have a perfect three by five half square rectangle block. I'm going to do this to the rest of my blocks, and then we'll go on to the next step. Now that we have all of our half squared rectangles all squared up, it's time to move on to our next step. We're gonna take our one and three quarter inch strips here. We're gonna put them right sides together and we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam all the way down. And before we take this over to the ironing board, we wanna cut our squares or our little strips out of this. So I'm gonna lay this down and I've got a little bit of the salvage here which I'm gonna have to cut off. So I'm gonna start by doing that. I'm gonna just take this. Then we wanna cut this entire strip down to 
inch and three quarters, so they end up being square in the end. So I've got one inch and three quarter right there. Cut, and then I'm gonna just slide everything down, make it easy on the math so I don't have to do all the math on this. Again, cut, which then we're gonna end up with these tiny little blocks like this. I'm gonna go and cut the rest of my strips and then iron my little teeny blocks open. So now that we have these all cut, you can see I've got these little tiny squares that are sewn together. What we're gonna do here next is we're gonna sew them into a block, but we're going to alternate the color so that we have them in like a little crisscross pattern here. And all we're going to do is put them right sides together, make sure we're right on point, that way our points come out great, and we're gonna just sew this a quarter inch seam all the way down. Which turns these into little teeny four squares. We're gonna do that to the rest of these blocks, and then I'm gonna show you how we assemble our block together. We're almost there. So now that I have my five by five squares, my half square rectangles, and my four patches here, it's time to assemble our block. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our pink side or whatever our dark side is of our half square rectangle faces towards the inside of our five by five square here. Just like that. Then all we're going to do here is we're going to put in our four by four or our four patch with the light color facing or pointing towards the inside of the square. Right there is our block. Now let's show you how you assemble this. What I'm going to do is start by taking my five by five, taking my five by five and sewing on one half square rectangle onto both sides, just like so. So I'm going to do that now. Got the first side on, now I'm going to put it on the other side. Take this over to the ironing board and iron everything open. Next step is to take our half square rectangle here and sew on both of our four patches onto both sides, top and bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Put them right sides together. Just got my first side on, now I'm gonna repeat this. Just like that, I'm gonna repeat this step to my top. And once we're done here, we're gonna iron everything open, make sure everything's good. Take both my pieces over to the ironing board and iron everything open. And now all we have to do is attach top to bottom, making sure that we keep our points right on point, that way everything looks clean. I'm gonna start with our top, I'm gonna lay it down right sides together. Got my first piece on, and then I'm gonna just add the bottom, and then I'm gonna take it over to the ironing board. So here is what we are looking like. The block looks great. Now I'm gonna show you how you sash these blocks. It's super, super easy. I'm gonna take our last piece of fabrics that we have here, which is a two and a half by width of fabric, and we're just gonna sew it on to the side of our block. So right sides together. Stick it right underneath here, underneath the sewing machine. And take your time here, make sure you're not tugging or pulling on it. Just let the machine do all the work. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna iron this open and then trim it up parallel with my block. And like I said, we're gonna just trim everything up parallel with my block. So I'm gonna line up my sides here and we're gonna just trim off the little piece here and we're gonna do it to the other side as well. There we go. We're gonna repeat this step to the rest of our blocks and then we're gonna sew them end to end. So this is what it's starting to look like. So like I said, we're just sewing them end to end. So let me show you how you do that. I'm gonna take my fabric just like this and the end that we haven't sewn our strip to will connect to the other block that we have the strip sewn to. So we're gonna put this right sides together. 
Take it on over to the sewing machine and we're gonna just sew a quarter inch seam all the way down. So to assemble the row rows, they're super easy. All you gotta do is just keep attaching them, the side that doesn't have your sashing on it to the other block that has the sashing on it. Pretty simple construction. I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple more rows and then I'll show you how you finish the whole, whole project up. So something I forgot to show everyone that I just wanna bring up right now is once I built my row, I just put a two and a half inch sashing on both top and bottom in the exact same construction. I just lined it up on one side, sewed it all the way down and then cut off parallel. That way everything stays clean. Once you have one of these built, we have to add rows that don't have sashing on top or bottom. So I'm gonna show you how you add those now. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and put them right sides together. But something that you wanna be really mindful of is lining up your sashing that is running vertically here. The reason why we wanna line this all up is if you don't, your, your uh, quilt will kinda of look zigzaggy or wonky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up just like this. And then I'm gonna open it up to make sure everything's lined up and then I'm gonna put a pin in it. That way I know for sure I'm in the right place. So I'll put this down and put a pin just like this. I'm gonna do that across the entire row here, making sure everything lines up real nice and neat. I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine and sew my quarter inch seam. Take this over to the ironing board, iron everything out. Now we just keep following this process until we build out the whole quilt. I've got my last piece here that I'm gonna add on to it, doing the exact same process, making sure everything lines up, taking that extra second just to make sure all my sashings line up with each other and taking the extra time to pin, which is really, really important to keep everything straight. And we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine, sew our quarter inch seam all the way down, and then this quilt top will be complete. So I'm gonna iron this out and I'm gonna show you what the quilt top looks like. So here it is, our finished quilt top. I absolutely love the way that this has turned out and I love how it's not your traditional half square triangles. I'm gonna take this quilt across the building to our in-house long armor to have this finished. If you've liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't be afraid to share this video with your friends. As always, I left instructions on how to make this in the description below. My name's Tiaren, I'm teaching it how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Yeah Quilting. That's a wrap.